Hey Power Rappers, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to add a signature block to your model-driven app or a Dynamics application. So stay tuned. Have you ever wanted to add a signature block to your model-driven application or Dynamics? Well, in this video, we're going to show you just how to do that. There's a few things to note about doing this. Let's go ahead and open up my application and let's get into this. I have created a very, very basic application for accepting proposals from individual companies. So we'll see my proposals that I have and I want to add a signature block to this proposal so my, uh, originated, my, uh, my reviewer can sign off on this proposal saying it's been accepted. So that's my goal today at least. First step I'm going to do is open up my solution that has the proposal table inside of it. Once I do that, I'm going to add a new column, and I'll just call this signature. I will make it a multi-line text. There we go. Uh, up to you whether to make it optional or not, and then I'll hit done. Okay, then I'll save this table, and there's a few little things we're going to have to do to kind of make this work appropriately. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the form, then I'm going to customize the control that's shown for my end users. I also need to make sure the data type supports it. So right now, the default data type uh, for multi-line text will allow 2,000 characters. I'm going to bump that up also so it'll support the full signature pad as well. So those are our steps to making this happen. So first step, let's go to our form and modify our main form where I want to put the signature pad. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, edit this form. There we go. And inside this form, once it comes open here, okay. We're going to do two things. We're going to add the field first, and then we're going to customize it next. So I'll go to my little ABC over here, uh, look for my signature right there. I'll just drag it in any section that I want. I'll put it right below here for, for just for good measure. Now, there's a few things you're going to notice. This modern interface that we have here is missing a few things to make this a reality. First thing you'll see is under components, if I hit this little plus button for this signature pad, that there's not, this, not the pin control that I'm gonna to need to make this work. So I can't use the default way. So I'm gonna save this and I'll publish it just for good measure. And then I'm gonna go and open up the classic editor instead. The classic editor is all the stuff that Microsoft's frankly hiding right now from us because they haven't actually ported all this over to the new modern interface. So to do that, you'll see the switch to classic button after it's saved and published, which is not really required, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way just in case, I'll hit say, uh, switch to classic. This is gonna open up a new designer, and this is the old designer that most of my Dynamics friends are probably already used to in the past. But it's not as clean, not as easy to use. So, once this opens up, it may ask you, by the way, hey, why are you opening up the classic editor? If so, just skip it or write a comment about, you know, hey, I want this feature in the, in the modern interface. And then once this opens up and warms, it may take about 45 seconds the first time it does it. If it doesn't open up, just simply refresh your browser and you'll come up the second time. Look for your signature. You'll see my signature right here. So look for that signature and double click on it. Now there's two steps we need to do here remaining. I need to change the data type to a longer data type. It is a multi-line text, but it's not long enough yet. To do that, let's just go ahead and look for the details of the screen. There's a signature pad, PW underscore signature is my column, my technical column name here. And I'll hit the edit button to go ahead and change it to add extra uh, amount of space. If you don't do this step, it will fail on the save. It's going to look like it's working, but your users will actually fail to, uh, to save the signature. Additionally, while this is doing its thing, okay, it's actually opening up in the background. There we go. All right, I see it actually just redirected me. That's what I want to see. Occasionally, again, if you see this, just close the browser, hit the edit button again. It's because the cache isn't warmed up and eventually it will load for you also. So our first step is to add a zero of how many digits this is. Right now it's 2,000 characters. I'm just going to add a digit here, make it 20,000 characters, which should support most signatures at that point. I'll save and close that, which will update the field. Next, I'm going to go over to our Controls tab in that first screen. And again, the, fir the, the first thing I did is I go into Details and hit Edit. And that's what, that's what opened up the screen you saw a moment ago. Okay, and that's where I added the, the 20,000 versus 2,000, and I'm all good. The second step is to go to Controls and then add a control. And say I don't want to use the text editor, but instead I'm going to use this pen control instead. 
and then I'll hit the add button and just move these things all uh, over to, to support each of these interfaces. After I'm done, I'll hit OK, save it, publish it, and then now your app is ready. So let's go and see what the results of this looks like. I'm going to go over to my application I just had open. I'm going to do a hard refresh. Hold the control key down, hit the refresh button to get that signature in here and get all the latest metadata. Once it comes in, now you can of course tinker with it a little bit, you know, make it not as big or uh, make this, the line here say something else. But I'm just go ahead and sign this, uh, oop, my worst signature here possible, there we go. I'll go ahead and give it a certain project and then I'll give it a cost. All right, and when I hit save and close, it is now off to the races. And I can go back to that record again, and we can see that the signature looks to have not saved. So let me go ahead and try again. I'll hit save. Oh, I see the problem. All right, so I want to go ahead and sign this one more time. You'll see a little checkbox up here, meaning I'm going to go commit that signature. When I do that, then I hit save, uh, then the record will be there. So that's one of the little training issues you're going to have to let your users know that they have to hit that checkbox as they make changes because it's a, a special data type. All right, so in this video, we showed you how do you use the pen control and the signature pad to, to make this uh, a more interactive experience for your users. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. This is part of uh, hackathons that we do for users where we, we teach them how to do this with their own data and their own business problems. We also have a number of classes on Power Apps at pragmaticworks.com. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and we do watch those very carefully also. Thank you so much for, uh, for attending us today, and have a great day.